Hello everybody, Leone Productions here, and happy halfway to Halloween. Uh, it is going to be a pretty damn good year. As you guys can see from what we have already, I know I'm a little bit late on all this stuff, but I had problems with my internet, and I just got home from the East Coast Haunters Convention, and I'm extremely dead tired, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but uh, I, I just been going through a really really long week and i'm ready to come home and rest and go to bed but of course it's halfway to halloween so every single company imaginable is going to be posting everything they possibly can us halloween youtubers get the short end of the stick for that <laughs> but i gotta say i am very excited for this year there's so much stuff coming out there's so much good stuff coming out and i'm gonna be telling you guys what's new even though i'm late I, gotta, I just gotta get it out there. Um, if you guys haven't seen, which I know you have, um, there is new stuff from Party City, Spirit Halloween, Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, just uh, the list goes on. At Home just announced that they're coming soon. There, there's, there's so much stuff coming out. But uh, uh, the first video that I'm going to be going over with you guys today is Spirit Halloween. Of course. And Spirit Halloween has just been going out of their minds insane with just drop after drop after drop after drop. And I'm here to tell you guys what's new. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting off, um, a couple days before the Haunters convention, they released that Clowning Around is back. And that's huge for the Haunter community. Uh, back in 2019 or 2020, I, I genuinely can't remember, uh, Clowning Around came out and he just, like, vanished out of thin air. Everybody's wondering what happened to him. Nobody can get him. The only time people had him was, like, for, like, $800, $900. He was a very well-sought-after prop. And now, he's back. And people are going absolutely insane. Uh, people just actually started getting him in today, as the time I'm recording this video, and people are just going absolutely insane. They love this prop. Um, and from the looks of what he looks like, he looks phenomenal. Like, I'm not necessarily the biggest Clowning Around fan, but I, I gotta admit, he looks incredible. He looks insanely well done. I think SVI finally listened about the Heckles debacle and the Slim debacle. Um, those guys look awful. Those guys look genuinely, genuinely awful. But, uh... This clowning around looks phenomenal. He looks like every single person who's got him so far, it looks like they got prototypes. Like, that's just how good they look. Which, I I have to give props to SVI because it looks genuinely amazing. And as I said before, I'm not necessarily the biggest clowning around fan. I like him, but he's just not my not my uh, type. I, I just don't like the golden little girls and whatever. I, I just don't like the little girls' faces and whatnot. I just... I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of um, the the torture kid props, but uh, as I say this, as I'm a big fan of the Harvester of Souls, but that, that's different, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm a hypocrite. So after Clowning Around came out, we got Ricky Ratman, and Ricky Ratman is pretty cool. Um, I, I'm genuinely just kind of... I, I, like, I like him, um, and his gore looks insanely insanely well done and i'm really really glad that spirit's getting more gore stuff out there because we've been more family friendly for a while now and i really want them to get back to their creepy unnerving-esque props from spirit and it seems like they're doing that but um i necessarily i don't like zombies too much i mean i, I like them but I, like I, I don't collect zombies i'm more of like a harvest reaper clowns kind of guy so uh those are really my my main three guys but um i'll tell you what he looks cool for what he is i like i like the idea of the rats eating him alive and he's got the huge hole in his stomach the rats eating out the rats eating his brain it looks really really cool and his his twitching his movement looks really really good um, I, I, I genuinely do like him, other than the fact that I will not, I will not pick him up. But we actually did make a review video of Ricky Ratman, which I'm gonna just put in here rather than make its own separate video. And me and my friends did it in the car on our way to Dorney Park from East Coast Haunters Convention. So, it's me, it's me, Gino Haunter, 
Ben Hortastic, Billy's Monsters, and Ryan Orr. And uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click that in here. So uh, enjoy. Hello everybody, Leone Productions here, and I'm back today with another video, different weird video in the car. Um, oh, shut up. We, no <laughs> we have said, Gino Haunter. Hi. Uh, do you even have, do you even go by your channel anymore? Ben Hauntastic. All right, Ben Hauntastic, and Billy's Monsters. Also, RJ Orr. He doesn't even really have a channel. Why is Logan? Uh -huh. He doesn't. Even All right, and we're here in the car. Uh, we just found out that a new Spirit Halloween prop is coming out called Ricky Ratman. Actually, we found out like two or three hours ago. Shut, shut up, shut up! Sorry guys, we just ended up on an Instagram reel. Um, we're all dead. This, these are our ghosts talking. Yeah. So, um, ooh, yeah, so, uh, Ricky Ratman is coming to Spirit Halloween this year, and, uh, Isn't it Ratman Rick? Whatever the, whatever it is, I don't know. Ratatouille. Ricky, Ratman, no, I think it's, no, I think it's Ricky, Ricky Ratman. Ricky, 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 no, Ricky, Ricky Ratman. It's so, uh, basically, what is it? It's a zombie with rats with a, hanging with out a, of him. With a Rick in him. With a, with a Rick, 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 Rick. With a Rick, Rick, Cindy 2.0. Oh, see, 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 see. Yeah, basically, see through Cindy 2.0 kind of. See through kinda. Cindy, but it's a guy and he's in the. What are our thoughts about it? Personally, I like him. I think he's pretty cool. I think he's going to be forgotten about personally in however many. You know, however many weeks or months, like but I think he is cool for what he is. I will kill you all. I think he is cool for what he is, though. All right, uh, Gino Haunter. Uh, well, my thoughts on Ricky Roden thing. Yeah, Ricky uh, Roden. Richard Roden. I think it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna get it though. I think there's gonna be way better props for the year. They, do, they always. Do I love this. him. They always do this. They always release a prop and everyone freaks out over it. And then give or take like a week or two. We're like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> Until everything else comes out. Yeah, but, until, uh, I guess we really All right, what do you think? I, I love Chuck E. Cheese. It reminds me of a Jemmy. So it's, it's, a, it's a cop. It's like, it, you can see that thing at Lowe's in a minute. But it's 100% a cop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, Billy's Monsters, what do you think? I think he's pretty f cool. I like his face and his detail, but I would probably get him in paint, like everything. But I really like the skull. He's fucking cool. I might get him. I don't know. I don't know. You would do a good makeover. I, would, I feel like I would. I'm not, I'm not, oh, I, th I, I think I think a Billy makeover is justified. Yeah, I, I mainly yeah. the rats, the rats, and like the the hole is just like empty. Maybe. Last but not least, RJ. Actually, yeah, no, he is least. RJ or? Ow, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> pretend you didn't say <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> well, I think the uh, name came from a kindergarten classroom. Um, Ricky yeah. Ratman. <laughs> yeah, so some kid was actually some kid was drawing with a crayon and wrote Ricky Ratman. So, so like, yes. That's it, that's yeah. it. But other than that, um, what a spirit's weird fetish with these rat props every two years. We got the Sewer Barman 2020, Rat Girl 22, and now we got Ricky Ratman. Like, they, they've been, they got a little pattern going here with this. And it's always, if you notice, it's always the spirit rats. Like, it's always those. Oh, that'd be cool. Here. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the camera, I'll get my ideas. I think they should do some sort of possum, something else. I think the rat concept is cool. It's getting a little overdone, though. Um, what else? Has, did anyone even read his story? I know Ben mentioned that. Yeah. Um, it's like... It's, re it's really dumb. It looks like an AI thing. Yeah, it's oh. like something about him working like the night shift at like a pizza place, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a five like, nights at Yeah, and then he was on the train and the rats were like, yeah, but you know, instead of the pizza. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, the one thing that we're, um, that we haven't mentioned yet is that uh, people are freaking out about Gore coming back, you know, the props, you know? This prop is pretty bloody and it looks disgusting. These it's rats. actually really cool because I, we haven't seen a gore gore prop in forever. We haven't oh. seen a rat in so long. It's like <laughs> 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 I have never seen a rat in my life. I love so a good dish of ratatouille. A good dish of ratatouille. A good dish of ratatouille. There's a small thing I do like about the prop is the audio, how it has like the knifed up rat audio. I don't know if you remember that. The old tabletop from Spirit. I remember knifed up rat. We gotta, we gotta see what? What, what company it is as well because the base looks very WO slash PT. And if it is, I probably won't buy it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I don't trust it. it. I hope it's crazy crazy. I hope it is. All I, right, welcome back. And, uh, and after Ricky Ratman came out, we got a halfway to Halloween teaser midnight of that day. So in that halfway to Halloween teaser, we got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna do an in-depth analysis. I'm just gonna tell you guys what I thought of it because you can see from here to Timbuktu, every single Haunters video on their reaction of the of that uh, that teaser video going into depths analysis. I know Griffin Miller has one. 
Uh, it's just, it, like I said, here to Timbuktu, every single haunter doing the same exact video. I, I want to be a little bit different. So, um, yeah. But uh, I really like the teaser. Uh, I like that we're getting a circus theme, which is really, really cool. Um, I know people have a distaste for clowns now because Spirit's been pumping out clown after clown after clown after clown. And um, I, I, I genuinely don't really care. I, I like clowns, so I, I can't really say anything. Um, unless it's Sinister Steve, then I, you know, I, I'll, I'll genuinely like the clown. Um, but I, one thing I do have to agree with is I don't like how they use clowns in separate themes that don't make sense to the theme. So, like, they put the clowns in the lab, in the cemetery. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. Now it actually makes sense. So go buck wild. Do whatever you want to do with the clowns, you know? So that that's really my 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 personal uh, opinion on that one, but um, I, I know I know people still have a problem with the clowns and the circus. To each their own, you know. But I am very happy with it, and I'm kind of excited to see what they do with it. Uh, probably like funhouse stuff, um, like arcades, carnival games. That'd be really really cool, and uh, I just can't wait to see what they do with the theme. In the last two things, they're not exactly like big things but um for what they are i really like them and i'm kind of excited to see what they do uh i bought both of them by the way uh one of them is coming today so expect a video on that very soon maybe tomorrow um but i just got the nightmare harvester statue which that guy looks incredible if you guys know me i am the number one nightmare harvester fan who doesn't actually have Nightmare Harvester? <laughs> I missed out on Nightmare Harvester. I wasn't a, I wasn't like in the community at the time, so I didn't really like collect animatronics and whatnot. So now when I got into the community, Nightmare Harvester was long gone and went for a lot of money, so I, I just couldn't pick him up. But I am a huge Nightmare Harvester fan. He's my top animatronic of all time. I love him to bits, and I am so happy that they're making merchandise of him. I have the plushie the keychain and now the statue so i cannot wait to see what they do with that i i really want more statues i love a wacky mole an uncle charlie a silent and deadly i want them to break into the clowns other than crouchy so uh i think they'd be really really cool because every single statue we've gotten so far is top notch and last but not least from spirit we got the jack the reaper hanging prop or bust or what, whatever you want to call it the this thing is incredible this is the closest we have to a jack the reaper animatronic or prop and i knew i had to get this immediately and it's not even because i'm like kissing spirits butt and whatnot i just really love jack the reaper as a character i love his cartoony-esque reaper face it's just like a perfect reaper and i love his design i love his look um just the the hanger himself looks amazing it's exactly what you would imagine from a jack the reaper prop He's really well done. Uh, we can see that when he comes in. I'm definitely going to do a video on him too. Uh, but I don't like how the hanging props are like 50 some odd dollars. That's that's my only gripe with them. Uh, I, I just wish they were sort of more on the cheaper side. Because I know a lot of people want these things. So I don't think $53 justifies what it is. Because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't talk. It doesn't light up. Uh, you're essentially paying for the IP or the license essentially for spirit so i don't i don't necessarily agree with the price but i do agree that he looks pretty dang cool and that's pretty much wraps it up for the halfway to halloween from spirit halloween they have so much cool stuff out and i genuinely don't have a problem with any of it i i really like everything that they released so far ricky ratman clowning around all these guys uh nightmare harvester and uh the jack the reaper hanger these guys look amazing and i'm really really happy with it i love the circus theme and i just can't wait to see what they do and i can't wait to see it in person at their flagship location on august 1st but if you guys don't agree with me let me know in the comments below if you guys like this video please be sure to like comment follow me for more spooky content year round please be following me on instagram leone productions 1031 and uh, my tiktok leone productions official and uh with that being said Thank you guys so much for watching, and this is Leone Productions, signing out. Stay spooky, everybody.